Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're talking month two of our horror pack unboxing, and we got four new movies for you. So let's talk. So we just got our monthly horror pack uh, box in the mail, and if you guys aren't familiar, again, they are a website where you can sign up for their horror pack DVD or Blu-ray and you can pay monthly or you can pay by the year you can pay by one box uh, you could get it one time or you can pay for the whole year whatever um, so you get four blu-rays or four DVDs per month um, and it's completely randomized you don't pick what's in it you don't know what's in it until you get it so it's kind of fun to get in the mail and open it up and see what's inside um, We'll post the link to our first video down in the description so you guys can check that out and see what was in the first box. Um, but this month, um, not great stuff. I mean, I own one of them on 4K already, and that was VFW. This was actually a decent movie. I did see this. I watched this on 4K. Uh, so now we have it on Blu-ray. Might be able to recognize uh, the name Stephen Lang in there. He's a pretty famous actor. He's also uh, pretty famous right now for the Don't Breathe movies 1 and 2. And I always recognize him from Manhunter from the late 80s where he plays a little bit of a weasel character who ends up dying in a very fiery blaze thanks to the Tooth Fairy. So, Stephen Lang. Check this movie out though. Matt says it's good. I'm going to watch it. Uh, the next one they gave us is One-Eyed Girl. From 2014. 2014, yep, that's correct. Uh, I've never heard of this. I've never seen it. Um, again, this is a lot of deep cut stuff, a lot of stuff that we've probably never heard of, but maybe a lot of stuff that we have. Because we did, get, we did get a double last month as well. Um, that was the Eli Roth's uh, History of Horror documentary, which I already had. Um, and now VFW, technically not a double because I have it on 4K, that's the Blu-ray version, but, you know, I, the double of the movie. So we might do a giveaway on that in the future, so stay tuned. Um, but again, One-Eyed Girl, um, you never heard of this, right? No, never. Um, this will be a first time watch for me. Again, just like last month when it was in Morbid Colors, it's got some film festival releases on it. Which, you know, was very misleading for Morbid Colors. I do not like to knock movies or drag them through the mud. But we sat down to watch Morbid Colors, and let me just tell you, I was blown away by how bad it was. Now, I feel bad saying that because I'm assuming that that was made on a shoestring budget, probably lower quality budget than us. I could tell because the audio was worse than our audio. And... The acting is just terrible, and I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I can't recommend that movie to anybody. Like, I get that they've probably got some sort of following, and I feel bad knocking anyone who's in it or anyone who made it, and it's just... I mean, I, I, if you got that in a horror pack, I, I, it had the label, it has the horror pack 68 on it, so they were pushing it, and I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just, that mm -hmm. was really bad. I, I, what did you think? Like, I, Yeah, I mean, we put it on, we watched maybe 45 minutes of it, and it's... It, we we couldn't do it. It was just not really. No. Inti like, it wasn't interesting us. And uh, you know, it, I don't like to knock things ooh. that I don't think I could do. Like <laughs> yeah. I, I I would probably be up there acting with them, and that you know I honestly I would have got cast. But that's just how bad it is, and I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, moving on because this yeah. was pretty interesting. Yeah, this seems to be the uh, I guess the most notable of them all uh, would be Crucible of Horror. Mm -hmm. Now. The, uh, the only reason I say notable is because I recognize the uh, the actor Michael Go from Batman. one of our favorite Batman. You know, yeah. he was Alfred. But this is from 1971, and this is a Scream Factory release. So they are, um, like, they label Horror Pack and their number on it. But they do have Scream Factory stuff. I think that last movie we just had was RLJE. Actually, no, VFW was uh, RLJE. So, I mean, they're not just random stuff. It's... They have some of the boutique labels in there, so it's pretty cool. So now we have Crucible of Horror with the uh, the Scream Fact or Shout Factory release. So that's pretty cool. I I will definitely want to check. No, this I'm one definitely out. checking this one out. I'm excited for this personally. And then last but not least, this is the one with the number on it, so yep. we know which number of horror pack it is. So they on the spine they put uh last month's was 68, so this is 69. So they've been at it for a few months now, actually I guess a few years. Yeah, 12 would be five years, so it would be 60. So. 
so 69. I, We're almost at I guess six they've years. been doing it for that long. I don't know. I've just heard of them from film from Jeff at Films at Home. Again, this is their monthly special, and it's called Freak. Uh, it's from 2021. Bayview Entertainment. I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. Uh, just by the look of it, I mean, I'm expecting another Morbid Colors deal here. But, but I do like the the box art i gotta be honest i'm a big i like cool. it when you blend that red and blue um actually it's pretty cool i actually have a friend who shoots pictures and videos and everything like that and he told me a little trick if you have i ever wanted to shoot like this where you just put like some red like paper thin paper over a light save you some money so i think it looks like that's like kind of what they did to shoot this picture it's pretty cool well that that's clearly drawn or card that is not real you don't think this is a picture no, John. I think that's completely okay. He's he's blind, so this... <laughs> that is not a real person. But okay. Um... <laughs> anyway, so that is this month's horror pack. Uh, we'll be back next month with another update. If any of you guys subscribe to it, uh, we want to know what you guys got. Yeah, they say it's random, so we want to hear what everyone else is getting in their horror packs. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see what uh, how random it is. Uh, if you head over to horrorpack.com, you can use our discount code for 0% off. Let's talk entertainment and media. Yeah. And yeah. that's about it. Yeah, guys, thank you for stopping by um, into our horror house here as we review, well, as we unbox another horror pack for you. This one is March, so pop by next April to see what we get next month. And guys, as always, thank you for being a fan of Let's Talk, and make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and tell all your friends. Keep it spooky. Ooh.